See, have you been getting the real story on the war between Israel and Hamas? Or have you only been seeing what Hamas wants you to see? We have an inside report on how Hamas manipulates the news media. Israel is pulling its troops out of Gaza today as a ceasefire begins, but many say Hamas is winning the media war. Chris Mitchell explains why. For more than a month, Israel's efforts to stop Gaza rocket fire and destroy Hamas tunnels has made headlines and led newscasts around the world. Two images dominate the war between Israel and Hamas. On one side is Israel's military actions, like airstrikes, artillery, and ground troops. On the other side, video of Palestinians suffering, wounded, or killed in those military actions. But what's missing? In Gaza, we have not seen Hamas fighters. They are not roaming the streets of Gaza City. They're not carrying weapons. Where are they? We've never seen those pictures in four weeks of reporting from this region. The impression creating is you have an Israeli army fighting, and you have Palestinians on, on the other side. And that's already uh, playing into Hamas's uh, media strategy. Hamas media watchdogs also crush what they consider negative reports. Hamas expelled this reporter from the Gaza Strip for his reports on Twitter. CBN News' George Thomas spoke with him inside Gaza. He came to us telling us that uh, he was hauled in by Hamas militants and uh, interrogated and uh, threatened. And they gave him uh, 24 hours to get out of the Strip. Italian journalist Gabriel Barbati posted this on Twitter only after leaving Hamas-controlled Gaza. Out of Gaza, far from Hamas retaliation, misfired rocket killed children yesterday in Shati. Witness, militants rushed and cleared debris. His tweet corroborated the IDF account that Hamas rockets, not the IDF, hit the Al Shifa hospital on July 28th. Filmmaker Michael Grinspan posted this exchange with a Spanish journalist on Facebook. How come we never see on television channels reporting from Gaza any Hamas people? He answered me, frankly, it's very simple. We did see Hamas people there launching rockets. They were close to our hotel. But if ever we dare pointing our camera on them, they would simply shoot at us and kill us. Oren says keeping the Western world in the dark works with predictable and devastating consequences. And they're using the civilian population as human shields. And so Israel, no matter how cautious it is, it invariably ends up causing civilian casualties. That creates very painful pictures on television screens that immediately incites the streets, that immediately translates into diplomatic pressure in the Security Council and human rights groups. There was evidence that Hamas was using hospitals, schools, uh, civilian neighborhoods, mosques to launch their rockets. There was evidence of that, but they did not want the Western world to know that. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Managing the news, you think you're getting it straight? Well, hopefully you're getting it straight here, and we want to tell you what's happening because our reporters tell it like it is.